Do you want to learn how to enable and disable a group policy? I will take you through the process step by step in this tutorial video. To learn how, keep on watching. Hi, I'm Patrick from Dutchy Tech Tips. If you want more tutorial videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, hit the bell icon to receive notifications for future videos. To enable and disable a group policy, we need to have our group policy management MMC Snap-in open. As you can see, I have created a sample called test sample earlier, and its GPO status is set to all settings disabled. Now there are three disability settings, one for computer, one for user, and one for all, as shown here, all settings disabled. To enable a group policy, we need to right click on the object, a context menu will appear, and we need to hover over GPO status. And as you can see at the moment, all settings disabled is checked. What we need to do, we need to select enabled. And as you can see, the status has been updated for test sample as enabled. Now, if you want to disable the computer policy only, we go back through the process by right clicking, GPO status, and we want to select computer configuration settings disabled. What this means that computer configuration settings you have applied in the policy will be disabled but the user configuration will still be in play. If you want only the user configuration settings disabled, we go back here, GPO status, and this time we select user configuration settings disabled. What this means is that the user configuration settings is disabled on the policy. Like before, with the computer configuration settings, the roles are in reverse, but to disable all settings together, we go right click on the object, GPO status, and select all settings disabled. As you can see that the scripture or the little icon is more transparent and all settings of the group policy are now disabled. To summarize the key points of this video, I've shown you how to enable a group policy, explain three disable methods in group policy, have shown you how to disable all settings in group policy, and shown you how to disable only user configuration in group policy, and shown you how to disable only computer configuration in group policy.